first with the news, this is 22 Alive, the early edition. Tom Hamlin with sports and Janet McGill with the weather scene forecast. Now, Marsha Bonhart and Carl Day. Good evening and thank you for joining us. Carl Day is on special assignment. He will join us later. Have Lai arrived at Wright-Patterson Air Force Base today. 22 Alive's Carl Day is standing by with a live report. Carl. Thank you, Marcia, and arrive it did in style. The Enterprise has landed. If you were downtown or anywhere around, you probably saw it. It's pretty hard to miss two airplanes flying that close together. And I have with us the mission team leader, who is Colonel Larry Griffin. And, and uh, Colonel, we were talking before we went on the air tonight. This is a little unusual for this aircraft to be out and available for the public to see it. Well, we selected this route very carefully. Uh, and, of course, Dayton is a landmark in aviation history. We thought this would be a very appropriate place to, sto to stop. And also, this will be our jump-off point to begin our journey to Europe. We'll be uh, proceeding from here to Goose Bay, Goose Bay to Keflavik in Iceland, then to England, then to Germany, and then to the Paris Air Show. We'll be there for about 10 days, and then we'll start back with a final out-of-country stop at Ottawa, in Ottawa, and then uh, back to Edwards Air Force Base. Now, this, we're watching some video that was shot earlier as you were coming in for a landing. Uh, one of the obvious questions is, is, is the aircraft any uh, stranger to handle with its extra load? Uh, on their, the, the size of the 747 is enormous anyway. Yes, and it's, uh, it's, uh, the handling characteristics are, are somewhat different, but uh, the guys that fly it a lot say that uh, uh, it's, uh, it's benign. It doesn't, uh, it doesn't add any particular problem to the landing task or the takeoff task. We're very careful not to fly the air airplane in turbulence, but, uh, but other than that, we uh, have almost no limitations to it. Now, I understand that the Enterprise, as we're seeing here today, is still in use in some test capacity? That's correct. Uh, of course, it was used first in the approach and landing test uh, back early in the program. Then we used it to activate our facilities. And then at uh, Kennedy Space Center, we'll do the same thing at Vandenberg Air Force Base. Well, you'll have a chance to see the Enterprise close up till about 8 o'clock tonight here at Wright-Patterson. Just follow the signs and follow the crowds. Carl, they live, 22 alive.